Hello viewers, welcome back to my playthrough of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. The hearts of the people of Perdita have been restored. Well that's good. Young Nina, you must have been terribly afraid. I must apologize most humbly for my actions. Do not worry, Queen Kulan. I am happy that you have become so kind and gentle. Everything in Perdita, it is so bright and happy now. We will never give in to Shadar. Your words are music to my ears. Truly, children like you are the bearers of hope, the hope of a brighter future. We who are old enough to know better chose the path of cowardice. All we wanted was to be free of fear, to be protected from the truth. Well, what's done is done and all that. I just hope that Rata Shadar's not still hanging about, waiting to pounce like. I know what I must do. My duty is to protect the people of Perdita from Shadar. I vow never to let his dark despair engulf this town again. I will make amends for all I have done. Gracias, Your Highness. Then it seems I've no choice. I'll throw my lot in with you, Your Highness. We'll protect this puny village together. No, Kublai. There are other duties to which you must attend. It is not only this town that must be protected from the dark pall of Shadar's despair. That is true. With your airship, you may travel freely around our world. Do you understand what it is that I ask of you? Ah, I do it that. Only too well. No, but you only just got together. Kublai, though we may be apart, we will always be together, as long as we share the same goal. Grahahaha, <laughs> you are not wrong, Your Highness. You always did have a way with words. Looks like everything's worked out then. Oh, but before I forget, there was a reason we came here to the middle of nowhere. I am aware of this. It concerns Mornstar, does it not? Yes, we're trying to restore its power. We did manage to find the three magic stones, but even Marcusan couldn't reunite them with the wand. It was beyond Marcusan's powers, you say? How could that be? Tell me more. Well, he speculated that it might be because we brought Mornstar here from the past. Hmm, a masked wizard who can manipulate time itself. I am most curious as to what his intentions could be. But I shall ponder that at my leisure. Our priority is to put a stop to Shadar's plans. I will perform the required ritual without delay. Tidy. Sounds like old Kulan knows what needs doing to get Mornstar back in one piece, eh? There's Andy. Now, young Oliver, I shall require some assistance in this undertaking. Are you willing to help me? Sure, Queen Kulan. Just tell me what I have to do. A fine response. The ritual must be performed outside. When you are ready, come and see me. I shall be waiting. All right.
Anyway, in the previous episode, we defeated Kulan's nightmare and restored the love in her heart from Kublai. And several of my little buddies here got levels up. Which is not a bad thing. Now let's leave Anciana's hut. And we will go up here to Ku Kulan. May we begin the ceremony, Oliver? Yes, without delay. Ah, uh, sure. Ready when you are, Your Highness. Oliver, do you know of a spell named Rejuvenate? Sure I do. It turns back the clock for objects to before they were old or broken. Well, it is the memory retained within objects that is being revived. Only the spell breach time allows time itself to be manipulated. Now, I believe that Rejuvenate should be able to restore the magic stones to the state they were in fifteen years ago. Oh, I get it. That way, they'll be the same as Mornstar from fifteen years ago, huh? Indeed. I will need to combine the spell Rejuvenate with the ritual required to reunite the stones with Mornstar. Flipping heck, wouldn't that be a bit of a stretch even for you, your heavenliness? It will not be easy, and I understand why Marcus Ann balked at the challenge, but I believe I can do this for you. Thank you, Your Highness. Now, without further ado, let the ritual commence. obtained the restored Mornstar. The ritual is complete. What you hold now is Mornstar in its true form. Please consult your wizard's companion. That wand's power has restored new pages with new spells for you to use. And we get the healing hand spell. The fortune's fool spell. The Unleash Spell. Keepers, these spells look so neat. The spell known as Unleash will prove very useful to you, I am certain. Doubtless you have done battle with those creatures known as Guardians, whose poor hearts had been broken by Shadar. When you defeated them, you received certain gemstones, did you not? Yes, we did, as a matter of fact. That's right. They dropped them big jewels, ain't it, Ollie boy? These gems are symbols of the Guardian's gratitude, and contain a part of their spirit and life force. Keepers. By using Unleash, you can channel the energies which reside in these gems, and call upon the Guardian's strength in battle. With their power at your command, you will be able to hold your own even against Shadar. 
Uh, thank you, Your Highness. That sounds like it'll come in real handy. Hehe, <laughs> that doesn't sound too shabby, does it, Oliver? Shadar'll be quaking in his boots. If he has boots. You are now better equipped to face Shadar in battle, but a serious obstacle stands between you and any such encounter. Oh, here we flipping go. What is it this time? Shadar dwells within the castle of Nevermore. It lies to the north of here, beyond the Miasma Marshes. Should a careless traveler be engulfed by the dark miasma, for which the marshes are known, they will be lost forever. Wait a second. The Miasma Marshes? I... I... What is it, Esther? Have you heard of them? It's something my father once spoke of. He told me of a mist that was so dark that no light could penetrate it. The Miasma. He said that the only way to clear it was with the call of the Clarion. The Clarion. I remember you saying that we'd be the ones to play it again, Esther. Yes, the Clarion is a symbol of peace that was created by the three kings of this world. Now, what was the rhyme? In Ding Dong Dell they carve full well that old Mamuni wood, and then bear it to Hamlin to make it sound so good. I am impressed by your knowledge, Esther, but then you are the daughter of a great sage. Oh, it's just a l rhyme I learned when I was little. So, if we give this clarion a good honk, it'll glare us a path across the Miasma Marshes, will it? That is correct. And the, thir fir the first thing you require to make the clarion is the holy wood. That old Mamuni wood. I think it's time we paid the Khalifa a visit. Yes, as far as the storyline, we acquire the Wonder Wand trophy for restoring Mornstar. As you can see, there is a whole bunch of side stuff now available. All the green and blue dots on the map. And with the restored Mornstar, we can also open those pesky purple chests. We just cast Spring Lock. And from this one we get a bottle of Nostrum. Our mountain town is far from other people, but still we can live well here. We pass knowledge and alchemy formulae from generation to generation. You know about alchemy, huh? Of course. Since we were children, we have watched all our Anciana does. So she taught you, huh? Say, would you mind sharing some of your formulae with us? I would not mind at all. Have fun trying them out. Gee, thanks. And we acquire some new alchemy formulae. Tonic. And all be gone. It cures all ailments. A jumbo planet dropped from before. A 
Lost Sword. Sainted Sword. Flitwing. A Ninny Hammer. Rainbow Lance. Ice Crystal Claws. Mystical Shield. Phantom Mantle. Medal of Steadfastness. Barrier Badge. Bastion Badge. And Hard Headed Badge. A few useful things to make. Grab the Gilders while we're at it. Then we can talk to this fellow again. Ah, oh, it is truly gladdening to see the people of Perdita restored to their old selves. These people harbored us when we fled from the ruins of Xanadu, with my queen gravely injured and her heart broken. And how did we repay them? With blessings that were neither good nor true. But it's not your fault, sir. You were just obeying Queen Kulan. Obedience is no excuse. I could, I should have done something. There's no point crying over spilt milk, man. This town's back to normal, so all's well that ends well, ain't it? You are right, of course. And now I will do all I can to protect the people of this town. That's great, sir. You have my gratitude. Thank you all for saving my queen. What Shadar wrought on Xanadu cannot be undone. But I sense that those who lost their lives are grateful to you. I feel sure the ghostly guard you met would agree. Few artifacts from Xanadu now remain, but I have held on to this. Here, take it. It is yours. And we receive a new alchemy formula. This will be a new weapon for Esther, the Herald's Harp. It requires the cherub's wing that we got from Kulan's Nightmare, and a power stone, and a couple of gust plumes. And we get a Babana Flan. And those gust plumes will be dropped from enemies in the surrounding region. In the next episode, we will get started on some of the new side quests that are available. This is Herr Rotlinia. I would like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.